Laura Darb, Lloyd and Pimp, and welcome to the pre-recorded session for Wednesday, the 19th of January, 2021. I wonder if any of you know what is chronological order? I'll give you a minute to think about that question and try to arrive at an answer. That's right. Chronological order is when you arrange things in the order in which they happened. This could be by time, day, date or year. I wonder, can you place the following events in the correct order? Grab some paper and a pen or pencil and I'll give you another minute to work it out. Did you get it right? Well done, Diane. I wake up at 7 a.m. I brush my teeth at 7.15 a.m. I wash at 7.20 a.m. I dress at 7.30 a.m. I have lunch at half past 12. I watch television at 8 o'clock and I go to sleep at 10 o'clock. How about this question? Can you place the following Olympic Games in the correct order? Press pause on the video to give you time to work it out. Ian Mined, Fantachy. One minute, off you go. Gwych, great. The year that comes first is 1968, Mexico. The next Olympic Games were held in Los Angeles in 1984. Then came Barcelona in 1992. In 2000, we had the Sydney Olympic Games. In 2008, they were held at Beijing, in 2012 they were held in London and in 2016 they were held in Rio. Now moving on to one of our project tasks from the blended learning menu, Newport Rising. The learning goal is to complete a timeline of the Chartist movement. How will you know if you've been successful? Well, let's look at the success criteria. I can read about the key events. I can find out when they took place. I can order the events on a timeline in chronological order. I can draw pictures to represent each event and I can do research 
and add events I find out myself. Remember, you can refer back to the success criteria and check or self-assess your work if you've met each point. Over the next few slides, I will share some key events about the Chartists. Don't forget, you can pause the video or watch it again to help you during this task. All of the events on these slides are jumbled up so they are not in the right order. That's going to be your job. The 25th of April 1839, protests occur in Newport. The 12th of June 1839, a petition signed by both men and women was presented to Parliament asking that the Charter be debated. With more than 1,280,000 signatures, it was almost three miles long, the distance from the memorial in Newport to the Westgate Hotel scene of the battle. The 24th of February 1840, John Frost, William Jones and Zephaniah Williams embarked on board the convict ship, which was called the, the Mandarin, at Spithead, bound for Tasmania with 210 other convicts. The 9th of December 1839, Thomas Phillips, Mayor of Newport, who was injured in the Newport Rising, was knighted for his defence of the town. On the 26th of April 1839, Henry Vincent addresses a crowd of supporters from an upstairs window of John Frost's drapery shop, which was at 55 High Street. Early 1839, the Newport Chartists were led by John Frost. 1832 Reform Act, known as the Great Reform Act, it was greeted with disappointment for extending the vote to only one in five males. It led to the rise of Chartism, the first mass movement of the working classes in Britain. April 1839, 120 soldiers arrive in Newport at Mayor Thomas Phillips' request. Later, 13 of them deserted and became Chartists. The 16th of August, 1856. After receiving a full pardon, John Frost received a hero's welcome on his return to Newport. He died on the 27th of July, 1877, aged 93, and is buried in Bristol. 1838, William Lovett and Francis Place draft the People's Charter with its six points votes for all men, equal electoral districts, MPs need not own property, payment for MPs, annual parliaments and a secret ballot. The 12th of July 1839, MPs voted not to consider the Chartist petition by 235 votes to 46, which led to rioting around the country. The 16th of January, 1840, John Frost and other Chartist leaders were tried for high treason and sentenced by Lord Chief, Chief Justice Sir Nicholas Tyndall to be hung, drawn and quartered. They were the very last people in Britain to receive this sentence. On the 6th of February, 1918, Representation of the People Act saw the last of the five Chartist demands to be accepted with all men aged 21 and over gaining the vote. This was 75 years after the Newport Uprising. The only Chartist demand not to be accepted was annual parliaments. The 3rd and 4th of November 1839, contemporary records say 5,000 armed Chartist activists marched on Newport, where soldiers were waiting for them at the Westgate Hotel. A 20 minute battle took place, leaving at least 22 Chartists dead and about 50 injured. 
Now, Miss Davis, Miss King and myself would like you to use what you have learned from this session to put the key events into chronological order. Remember, what's happened in this lesson may help you and also there's a video on the next slide that might help you too. We all look forward to seeing your timeline shared with us on Seesaw. And don't forget, you can choose how you represent your timeline. You could draw your own, use the template in the resources folder on Together Learning, create one on the computer. The choice is yours. Poor Bluck. And here's a link to the short video that might also help you. Take care, everyone. See you soon. Da